anybody comes to the seaside, it's all about having fish and chips. Now, some people who have visited Whitby have told us that the best fish and chips is at the Magpie Cafe. However, people who live in Whitby say Trenchers is the best fish and chips. So we're gonna go to both of them, weigh them up and decide once and for all, which one is the best fish and chips. Now, on our quest to find the best fish and chips in Whitby, we were told by many people to go to Poppers, which we've had been to before in Cleethorpes, and it is good fish and chips, but because it's a chain, we are disqualifying it from this competition. Uh -uh. So here we go, very, very first fish and chips that we're gonna try, and it's here at Magpie Cafe gone with one portion that we're going to share and we are going to rate this on the chip quality the batter factor and just how fresh and tasty the fish is Lady, you're going to get stuck in i'm excited inside there, flaky, meaty. meaty, tasty. And then they've even got their own tartar sauce. Homemade. Ooh. Good. Very good. Nice. Mm -hmm. just had our fish and chips from Magpie Cafe and I've got to say it was absolutely brilliant and we're going to mark it out three different categories. So chips, I'm giving a good 7.5. They were nice, crispy, potatoey, well cooked and great with salt and vinegar. Then going on to the batter factor. The batter was exceptional, like probably some of the best batter I've ever had. So I'm giving that a 9.5. Freshness. Wow. The fish was excellent, really, really flaky, really, really white, really, really tasty. Tons and tons of it. I'm going to give that an 8.5 with an overall score for Magpie's Cafe at 9.2. So here's the trenchers, fish and chips. We had to get takeaway because the queue was massive. So, but we're happy to eat out of the box and already we can see we have fish here with a bit of fish. Oh, and Leela's just letting it blow away. <laughs> Let's get stuck in and see what we think. Good. The batter's excellent. Very light. Oh yeah. Look at those chips. Mmm. <laughs> Good. Hot. <laughs> so we've just come out of trenches and Leela, what did you make of it? So, you're going to have to remind me of the things that okay. we're marking so out. So far, we need a chip rating. Okay, chip rating. Chips, really good. Me and Mick both thought the chips from here were pretty next level. I would even say they were a bit better than Magpie's chips. Score out of 10? I'm going to give it an 8.9. 8.9, strong. Strong okay. chips. Moving on, batter factor. Uh, what was the batter on the fish like? So the batter was a lot greasier than the other one. There wasn't a lot of grease that, but grease is goodness. Exactly. Like so, I'm going to give it an 8.2. 8.2? Just because it was a little bit greasy, but it was nice and light and flavoursome. Okay, and the freshness of the fish at Trenchers? Fish, freshness, really good. However, it wasn't as meaty as Magpie's fish. So it's a bit more flaky fish. So I'm probably going to give it a bit lower. So I'm probably going to give it a 7. A 7, right. Okay, an overall score for Trenchers. What I'm are we saying? I'm going to go... Oh, really tough. I'm going to go 8.9. 8.9. Overall, just because the fish took it down a little bit. So Magpie scores higher than Trenchers. What one do we think was the best out of the two? So, the one we think best is... Oh, there's a signal. Oh, we're going through the tunnel. They'll have to decide for themselves. They'll have to try them both in one day like we did. And now we can't move or breathe. <laughs> 